The Tennessee Volunteers are prepping for tomorrow's game against Florida in the swamp. Here in Knoxville, we're, we're celebrating their beloved home, Neyland Stadium. 10 News anchor Leslie Ackerson is live from UT campus in the house named after the general. Hey, Leslie. Hey, good afternoon, ladies. Not only on UT campus, I am standing inside Neyland Stadium. A little quiet, obviously, since the balls are down in the swamp. But we are celebrating that 100th birthday of Neyland Stadium. Can you believe it? 100 years. So all day we've been talking about the history, the big moments, those wins, some of the favorite fan events that have happened here. And yes, we've even mentioned some of our heartbreaking losses. You can learn more about the incredible history and some of our favorite moments at WBIR.com and in the WBIR app. Now, Neyland is kind of known as a powerhouse, at least to the Vol community, but it hasn't always been this way. Like all good things, it started small. So let's take a little time hop back in history to 1921. Named for the businessman who put the money to build it, the first athletic field opened as Shield Watkins Field in 1921. Pretty modest compared to today's standard, featuring just 17 rows of bleachers and mostly open ground. And a train even used to run alongside the south side. Now, the first game was between UT and Emory and Henry. UT did win 27 to 0. And back then, the guys played on grass and dirt until artificial turf was installed in 1968. The team played on that surface until 1993. And and then they have been on real grass ever since. But the biggest change in Neyland Stadium when it got the name in 1962 and there has just been pure growth and how many fans can fit. All right, we're talking 17 rows in 1921 to 34 rows in 1926. Stadium seating grew from 3,000 to 51,000 seats just under the reign of General Nealon. And of course, today we know more than 100,000 seats inside the stadium. And even without the fans in the seats and the team away, it has that magical feeling. And I think it's been that way for Vol fans, young and old, David, whether it's a kid going to their very first game or someone who has been going here for years, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this stadium, it, when you walk inside, there's not even fans in the stands right now. And you're still like, wow. This is a huge venue, and when you're when you walk on that field as a player or as somebody who like me just films the games, <laughs> and you look around, you see all that orange and white. It's almost intimidating. I can only imagine what the opponents feel like. We're <laughs> actually going to take a deep dive into what the opponents feel like coming up in just a little bit. But just you look at this place, and you think about the people who have played here: Peyton Manning, Al Wilson, Johnny Majors played and coached in this stadium. This is such a historic place. But unfortunately, they all had their troubles in the swamp. Peyton Manning even struggled at Florida, and that's where we'll find 10 Sports, Karthik Bintikaraman, and Madison Blevins with a preview of this Saturday's game.